Barcelona, the capital of Catalonia, is a city that is rich in culture and history. From the famous modernist architecture of Gaudi to the Mediterranean beaches, there is something for everyone to enjoy in this vibrant city. Whether you're a history buff, an art lover, or just looking for a relaxing vacation, a seven-day trip to Barcelona will leave you with a lifetime of memories. This itinerary will take you on a journey through the city's most iconic landmarks and hidden gems. When is the best time to visit? The best time to visit Barcelona depends on your personal preferences and travel style. Generally, the best time to visit Barcelona is between April and June or September and November when the weather is mild and the crowds are fewer. The summer months of July and August can be quite hot and crowded, making it less enjoyable to explore the city. If you're looking to enjoy the beach, the best time to visit Barcelona is between June and September. The Mediterranean Sea is warm and the beaches are packed with tourists and locals alike. If you're more interested in the cultural scene, the city's festivals and events, the best time to visit is during the fall and spring. For example, La Merce Festival in September, the Saint Jordi Day in April. Keep in mind that the city can be quite crowded during the peak tourist season, so if you're looking for a quieter trip, consider visiting during the shoulder season. Also, prices for accommodation and flights tend to be higher during peak season. Where should I stay? Budget-friendly. El Raval, this neighborhood is located in the city center and is known for its bohemian atmosphere and multicultural vibe. There are many budget-friendly hotels and hostels in this area, such as Generator Hostel and Hotel Rialto. Gracia, this neighborhood is located just north of the city center and is known for its charming streets, independent shops and boutiques, and lively plazas. There are many budget-friendly hotels and hostels in this area such as Hotel Gracia and Hotel Casa Gracia. Mid-range. Gothic Quarter, this neighborhood is located in the city center and is known for its narrow streets, charming plazas, and historic architecture. There are many mid-range hotels in this area such as Hotel Neri and Hotel Benis Orientals. Ishampla, this neighborhood is located just north of the city center and is known for its wide streets and elegant architecture. There are many mid-range hotels in this area such as Hotel Casa Fuster and Hotel Casa Comper. Luxury Passe de Gracia, this neighborhood is located in the city center and is known for its high-end shops and luxury hotels. There are many luxury hotels in this area such as Hotel Mandarin Oriental and Hotel Majestic. Barceloneta, this neighborhood is located on the waterfront and is known for its lively atmosphere, beach and restaurants. There are many luxury hotels in this area such as W Hotel and Hotel Arts. Keep in mind that prices and availability may vary depending on the time of year you plan to visit. Be sure to check prices and reviews before booking your hotel. Day 1. Start your day by visiting the Cathedral of Barcelona, also known as the Cathedral of the Holy Cross and St. Eulalia. This Gothic church is the seat of the Archbishop of Barcelona and is famous for its intricate architecture and history. Entrance fee is $12, open from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Next, head to the Picasso Museum which is dedicated to the works of the famous artist Pablo Picasso. The museum is located in the Gothic Quarter and houses one of the largest collections of his works. It is a great place to learn more about his life and art. Entrance fee is $15, open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. After that, take a stroll through the narrow medieval streets of the Gothic Quarter and explore some of the city's most famous landmarks, such as the St. Jama Square. In the evening, Grab dinner at one of the many traditional Spanish restaurants in the Gothic Quarter. Day 2. Today, head to the Eichample district, which is known for its wide, grid-like streets and many of the city's most famous modernist buildings. Start your day by visiting the Sagrada Familia, a large unfinished church designed by Antoni Gaudi. It is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Barcelona and is famous for its unique architecture and history. Entrance fee is $19.50, open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Next, visit the Casa Botlo, a modernist building designed by Antoni Gaudi, located on Passe de Gracia. 
It is famous for its unique architecture and is considered one of Gaudi's masterpieces. Entrance fee is $22, open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. After that, visit the La Pedrera, also known as Casa Mila, another modernist building designed by Antoni Gaudi, located on Paseg de Gracia. Entrance fee is $22, open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Spend the evening strolling along Paseg de Gracia, one of the city's most famous shopping streets, and admire the many designer boutiques and high-end brands. Day 3. Start your day by visiting the Montjuic Castle, a 17th-century fortress located on a hill overlooking the city. It offers panoramic views of the city and is a great place to explore the history and culture of Barcelona. Entrance fee is $7.50, open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. After that, head to Park Güell, a famous park designed by Antoni Gaudi. It is home to some of his most famous works, such as the Dragon Staircase and the Sala de Les 100 Columns. Entrance fee is $10, open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. In the evening, grab dinner at one of the many traditional Spanish restaurants in the Gracia neighborhood, which is located just north of Park Güell and known for its bohemian atmosphere and independent boutiques. Day 4. Spend the day at Barceloneta Beach, one of the most famous beaches in Barcelona. It is a great place to soak up the sun, swim in the Mediterranean Sea, or enjoy some of the many beachside restaurants and bars. After that, head to La Rambla, a famous street in the heart of the city that is lined with shops, restaurants, and street performers. It is a great place to explore the city's culture and experience the hustle and bustle of the city. In the evening, take a walk down to the Port Vell, the old port of Barcelona, and enjoy the many restaurants and bars that offer views of the sea. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Day 5. Start your day by visiting the Tibidabo Amusement Park, an amusement park located on the Tibidabo Mountain. It offers a variety of rides and attractions, as well as panoramic views of the city. Entrance fee is $29.50 open from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. After that, head to the National Museum of Catalan Art, also known as MNAC, which is located in the National Palace of Montjuic. The museum houses a large collection of Catalan art, including works by famous artists such as Salvador Dali and Joan Moreau. Entrance fee is $12, open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. In the evening, have dinner at one of the many restaurants near the museum. A popular restaurant is El Jardi and is located in the Montjuic Castle, just a short walk from the MNAC. It offers a beautiful terrace with views of the city and serves traditional Catalan cuisine. They are open for lunch and dinner. Day 6. Start your day by visiting the Olympic Village, which was built for the 1992 Summer Olympics. It is a great place to explore the history and culture of the city and offers a variety of sports facilities and museums. Entrance fee is $7.50, open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. After that, head to the Olympic Port, which is located just next to the Olympic Village. It is a great place to stroll along the promenade, enjoy the sea views and visit a variety of restaurants, bars and shops. In the evening, Take a walk along the beach and admire the sunset over the Mediterranean Sea. Day 7. Spend your last day exploring the Bourne area, a historic neighborhood in Barcelona. The Bourne area is known for its trendy boutiques, independent shops, and art galleries. In the evening, have dinner at one of the many traditional Spanish restaurants in the Bourne area, before heading back to your hotel to pack and prepare for your journey home. What is the best way to get around? The best way to get around Barcelona is by using the city's public transportation system, which includes the metro, buses, and trams. The metro is the most efficient and convenient way to get around the city, with lines that cover most of the city's main attractions and neighborhoods. The buses and trams are also a good option, especially if you want to explore more of the city's neighborhoods. Another popular way to get around Barcelona is by bike. The city has an extensive network of bike lanes and bike sharing stations, making it easy to rent a bike and explore the city on two wheels. 
Walking is also a great option for getting around Barcelona, as many of the city's main attractions and neighborhoods are located within walking distance of each other. Lastly, taxis and ride-sharing services like Uber are also available in Barcelona, but they may be more expensive than public transportation and can be difficult to find during peak hours. Tips Purchase a T10 Metro card. This card allows you to purchase 10 Metro rides at a discounted price and can be used on both the Metro and bus system. It is a cost-effective option if you plan to use public transportation frequently. Download a transportation app. Barcelona has a great transportation app called MoveIt which can help you plan your route, find the nearest metro station and bus stop, and check the schedule of the next bus or metro. Invest in a city pass. If you plan on visiting multiple attractions, such as museums and monuments, consider purchasing a city pass. It will give you access to multiple popular attractions at a discounted price. Be aware of pickpocketing. Barcelona is generally a safe city, but pickpocketing can be a problem in tourist areas. Try the local food. Spain is famous for its delicious cuisine and Barcelona is no exception. Try the local dishes such as paella, tapas, and a traditional Spanish omelette, and enjoy a glass of sangria or cava. Barcelona is a city that has something to offer for everyone. From the rich history and culture to the delicious Spanish cuisine, you'll never be short of things to do in this vibrant city. Whether you're exploring the Gothic Quarter or relaxing on the beach, you'll be sure to make memories that will last a lifetime. We hope you found this itinerary helpful and that you enjoy your trip to Barcelona and don't forget to subscribe and check out our channel for more fun itineraries to destinations around the world.